Hello and welcome to another Archline XP tutorial with Hendrik. In today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to actually import and export a DWG file and once you've imported a DWG file how to actually scale that and how you can actually import all the geometry that you can actually reuse or that you can draw over. Okay now the first thing that we're going to look at is if we look at a ground floor plan, um, we can actually export this in the model space to a DWG. Now the DWG is going to be on a one is to one scale. Um, so let's go ahead and try the first method. Okay, so we'll just go to our model space and we'll go file export DWG and I'll just quickly save this. Okay, so I'll save that into my folder. So there's, you could either export one floor at a time or you could actually export all of your floors um, into one single file. But for now, I'm just going to export uh, this one floor, okay? So do you wish to export all of them in one file or just for each floor in one step? So I'll just say no, okay? Now, what I'll do is I'll just leave it like that. Go to advanced settings. Now you can export it as a 3D model, um, but for this example, I'm just going to export it as a 2D model. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. So I'll just go export. Okay, now let's actually have a look at what that file is going to look like when we import it. Okay, so all we have to do is we can just drag and drop, go OK, um, and then model space, we can leave that in millimeters so it's going to import at the same scale okay so we'll just go okay place new drawing let's place it somewhere over here okay so it's all the way up here so let's just move it down a bit okay and as we can see, that's the same exact size because we exported in a model space um, and it basically exported to a one is to one scale. Now we have some layers that we need to turn off before we export. Now we can just delete some items in here that we don't want to see in our DWG. Like that, right there, right there. And we can just clean it up a bit. We can remove any items we don't want to see. Like that. Okay, and just delete this. Okay, now as you can see, what we have now is actual geometry that we can work with and all the items are imported basically as a little group. Um, so if we look at, for example, these dimensions, they are actually imported as um, dimension markers, okay? And also the text. So you can also edit the text. Um, so yeah, and the geometry, let's have a look at this. So that's a group. Um, we can go to Whenever we want to edit something, you can just go to edit group and you'll see that this is actually a hatch. So for example, if we change it to something else, okay, that's actually going to change. So ArchLine XP recognizes the whole DWG file, all the layers, um, all the hatches, all the lines and all the text. Okay, so I'm going to close this group and I'm going to delete this. Okay, oh, one thing that you also might want to know is just to verify uh, using dimension, measure, distance. 
Okay, now we have to bear in mind that uh, when I placed these dimensions, they were rounded off. Um, that was just the default way that I placed them. Okay, so that's looking accurate. Like I said, it was rounded off to the nearest decimal. Um, and you have to take that into account. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Okay, and now we'll go to a paper space. Let's just have a look at where I placed it. So what I did right here was I simply dragged my ground floor over like this and I set a scale. So this is in a paper space, one is to 100. Okay, now what we can do is we can simply go File, Export, and DWG. Okay, and I've exported it right here as a, a ground floor plan. Now this is going to be a scaled DWG. So we'll go to our floor plan, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop, just make sure that this is the correct file. Okay, so I'm just going to drag and drop it. Okay, now there's something we need to just double check. Um, so this model is, sorry, so this paper space is in 1 is to 100. Okay, so 1 millimeter is going to be interpreted as 100 millimeters. So all we need to do is we need to go to AutoCAD unit as, go 100 millimeters. And we can just check some of these settings right here. Okay, and that's looking good. Okay, uh, and just go okay. And we'll place a new drawing origin. Okay, and we can just uh, quickly verify. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so let's just verify now. Okay, we'll do this distance. Okay, one five, sorry, one nine five nine. Okay, now like I said, um, when I did this drawing, uh, I didn't include any decimal spaces, um, so it was rounded off. Um, so that's looking quite good. Okay, so that's also looking good. Okay, now a different scenario would be if you imported it um, and there's no scale. So let's imagine if we import a drawing and there's no scale like that, and we have no idea what to scale it to. So there's two ways to do it. Um, so normally your drawing would have like a small scale bar right here. That often happens, or another way to do it is to dimension it from a known dimension. Now you have to take account that when you scale it, um, it largely is going to depend on the accuracy of the dimension. So if the dimension is exact, um, then it should be fine. However, if the dimension is not exact, then you're going to have some um, accuracy issues. Okay, so I'll just show you how to do that and you can uh, verify that for yourself. Okay, so let's have a go at that. Um, okay, so let's go and import that DWG again. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to place it. Okay, now I'm just going to import it as millimeters. Um, and we have no idea. Let's say we have no idea what the scale is. Okay, it's really tiny. We have no clue what that is. When we go to uh, measure distance and we try to verify something, it's going to give us a completely incorrect number. Okay, now from this, we, um, we know it needs to be scaled up by 100. Um, so there's two ways to do it. So you can click on your drawing like this. You can go to view, sorry, you can go to edit, move, and then you can scale it up 
by 100. Okay, now that's one way to do it. Um, that's probably the best way to do it. And another way, which is not such a good way, is to go File, um, Scale, and then select two endpoints. So um, it's best to go for a larger dimension because it um, doesn't introduce as much accuracy issues. So what you need to do is select on one point and then go on draw and select another point like that and just check the dimension so that's 15521 so then drag it up and type in the dimension 15521 let's just double check that I in 15521 okay so now you can see there's two ways to do it. Now let's actually just try to overlay it so we can check our accuracy. Okay, now you can see, um, let's try that again. Move from, and we'll just move it from this point to this point. And as you can see, it's fairly accurate. Um, let's see. It's slightly inaccurate. If you can zoom right into the lines, you can see it's slightly inaccurate. So the best way is to have a scale on your drawings um, to reduce any inaccuracies. However, if you if you have a, a drawing that you don't know the scale, you can just um, use that scaling method that I just showed you. Okay, so um, the last thing that I'll show you is once you've imported a DWG, um, so you can actually save any one of these items as a 2D group. So let's say, you know, you have a detail and you want to save it. So let's just pretend that this is a detail. You can just hover over it. Um, and then you can go to drafting group and you can go create group in library. So you just need to select the two points, whatever points that you want to use and you just hit enter. Um, and now you can actually save it into your library. If you like this tutorial session and think that it was useful for you, please leave likes and comments below. Um, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And stay tuned for future content um, exploring how you can create models in ArchLine.